I'm glad I came. There's no doubt about that. And I'm 65 years old, and I've been healthy all my life. And then I got leukemia six months ago. The staff, the nurses, and all the people that are involved, you feel like part of the family. Uh, they take care of all your fears, any of your frustrations, and they make you feel very comfortable. The most important thing for people to remember is that you're surrounded by a team of professionals here that, that is here to help you. You have a physician who is here to inform you and guide you through treatment, help you make those decisions, look out for your best interests. You have nurses, there's a clinic nurse who can answer questions and really takes charge of symptom management. Talk to your team, ask them what to expect. Every person's experience is going to be different. In preparation, regardless of you know, what you're getting treated with, to block out the day, um, not have anything else going on on your first day of treatment, and have someone with you who can drive you. Pack a bag for first day. In it, I might put socks, if you're wearing sandals, you may want to put those socks on. If the temperature fluctuates, bring a sweater. Dressing in layers is always a good idea. If you happen to have a central line, you'll want to have a button-down shirt so that we can get to, to the line. One of the things that surprises a lot of people is that they can manage going through chemotherapy. A lot of people work while they're getting chemotherapy and may cut back their schedule, and that's always a good idea to really you know, take it easy. Oftentimes people will schedule their treatment so that they have two or three days afterwards to rest before going back to work or doing their normal activities. A lot of people may think that if you're having symptoms, uh, that it's just part of the deal, not necessarily so. There's a lot that we can do for supportive care and we want to know what your needs are so we can meet those needs. If you exercise now, continue to do that. If you don't exercise now, consider walking every day. Um, it's really important to maintain your physical activity, um, your energy and nutrition. We have a lot of resources here to help with that. Everything from cooking classes to yoga classes, support groups. We have a team of psychologists, social workers. So we're really focused on, on the whole person, not just your body, but your mind and your heart as well. Things have come a long ways. And um, I would say you might want to consider giving it a chance and saying no when some of these things really can help you and make it where they might put in remission, you might become cancer free, and you might be able to live for many, many years. I don't think you need to be fearful of chemo.